Okie dokie. It's time for chapter two. Let's get it. Alright. Leon's fucking dead. Yeah. And we killed him. Are dead in total. It's only been, what, not even a week? Yes. I guess he just go to bed now, since it's, uh... Nope. Wait. Or am I been someone at your door? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, he, I guess he's just... Oh, it's the bathroom. Oh. Wow, look at that. It looks like a bathroom. It's gone. Where'd the body go? All clean up. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. That's crazy. Do my duty and watch these ads for the homie. <laughs> <laughs> Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. She she's doesn't like, exist anymore. She's gone. yeah, gone. Poofed. It's like just like he said. How interesting the walls are white and not gray, and and you welcome back for the third stream. Yeah, welcome back for the third stream in a row. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial was over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay. No need to thank me. Just seeing your delight, smiling faces is is thanks enough for me. What do you do with them? That is my that's my first question. They're gone. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hee hee hoo hoo. Do you even have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's death? You could have done that while they were there. <laughs> I'm sure that's exactly why you did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry I'm late. So, um, Are you okay? No. You sure you took your sweet time? I was about to just go and get you and drag you back here. Sorry. So what happened? Was your room fixed up like you said? I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Nah. It's this Halloween decoration. Hey, come on. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like the whole thing never happened. I, I like how that's in gold. It must be tough say staying there knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? That's even worse. That's worse. Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Yeah. Plus, I've decided I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Um... Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't going to help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it. So everyone just try to cheer up and get back on track. You mean, it's time to start killing everybody. Uh, thanks, says I probably missed something. Now they're just talking about the everything that happened last chapter. Yeah, it's just like a, it's basically a recap. I didn't see what he, I just kind of collected and didn't read what he said. <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. We were already working together and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it happens once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. So basically the bodies are now gone, and now yeah. they're just talking about betrayal. And they're like, oh, let's work together. It's like, yeah, that fucking worked well the first time, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because Sayaka met, made the first move. Well, yeah, she was kind of a crazy bitch. And there's some crazier bitches here. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, but... If we work together against the mastermind, nobody, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. Working together, fighting a common enemy, like it or not, it's not that simple. Um, what do you mean? Are you okay with this? Their mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over the Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit their desire. Pick them up and they're gone. We don't need, we're not going to know where they went. But the bodies are gone. They don't exist. They just snapped out of reality. We have a furnace. They're probably there. Oh. Well, that's not cool. They cre create a Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing it for our ever need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last 
excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. So then. then what are we supposed to do? Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. No. When you think the meat no, no. comes up, we've been eating Junko this whole time. Well, no, she's only been dead a day. God damn. You know what? I don't want to live if it means killing someone else to do it. That's sad. I don't want to kill anyone else. Anyone else? What do you mean? Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. I, uh, uh, but... Not entirely wrong. Yeah. But if we haven't voted for him, then we all would have died said, right? The sacrifice of the one for the many. Yeah, that isn't what you wanted. It's like that uh, train like puzzle. It's like, would you kill one person or five people? This isn't what you wanted, is it? She's right. If you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Listen, you're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. So we, so we had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would would have happened to us if we refused. You all fucking died. Well, there you go. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. There's six chapters in all three games. It said directed at the mastermind. Bing bong. So, yeah, so we're on chapter two of six. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now as such. It is okay, so this is the same the shit. Dining hall yeah. will be oh, oh wait a minute. Other this is, yeah, this part's now. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you, even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and... And better than bendings, it's not a cash grab. The burden Damn. Of judging others <laughs> is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware He said the joke! Action. He said the bear pun! Order and stability <laughs> rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What an asshole. Oh, God. What was that just about now? Was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. What do you think he's gonna do? <laughs> that piece of shit. Who does he think he is? And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of the three classmates, Ayaka, Junko, and Leon. There you go. And the goat. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Woo! Chapter 2! Boy's life of despair. Let, oh, no. Let's get some hype in the chat for death. <laughs> I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. What's, I'm trying to remember if he gives the mode of this quickly. What's he going to do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he it, he began it. What the fuck is he doing? Oh. Oh. About the scene, to be honest. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Is it just a lot of exercise? Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength. A That's little why I wanted to help to uh, be my instructor for stretches. A fucking bear. <laughs> ah, doesn't it feel just great being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure to stay healthy. You're the one keeping us stuck inside. Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. <laughs> Whoa, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Agony for? So what did you call us... Why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Just to make you exercise? Oh, I just skipped it. <laughs> if, you exer if exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. 
Now, if you keep doing these these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. Passed down from generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness, the power can be yours. Mm -hmm. For only nineteen ninety nine, plus shipping and handling. Uh, sounds like a middle school would come up with. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Yes. Okay, so then. Ah, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time, every time you uncover, overcome a class trial, here's that hope's peak. A whole new world will open up to you. Yep. A whole new world. Whoa. God damn it! It really suck if you had a lot. Ah, it really, really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know you, how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. So go ahead and look around all you want. Enjoy the brand brave new post trial world if till you explode. So what the second floor is unlocked? Yep. Then I, then each game after a class trial, more to the location you're in unlocks. So it adds more rooms you have to explore for each investigation. Sweet. Is he talking Wait, about a way to get outside? Usually the investigations are only Piece of shit! It, like, only take place in the newer rooms you have for the most part. Hmm. Well, we don't know till we look. Hey. Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. Okay, then, let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone will be back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. You're basically a one-trick pony, Ooh. you know that? Damn. More like a staple food source. Now let's get moving. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Scattered! Yay! Am I, oh, explore. Am I scattering? Yeah, you need to explore, my man. Uh. 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 Uh, whatever. Whoa! It's the, open! It, look at it! It's uh, There's no gate. Can I just go? Oh, I just can't walk upstairs! Nope. That's impossible. <laughs> the gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is this what Monokuma meant by a new world? Uh -huh. If so, what's up there? Well, let's go upstairs. Now you have to... More bathrooms! Yeah, you don't have to explore, like, all the bathrooms and classrooms and shit. You may just have to explore, like, all the new rooms and, like, the map. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure. There's gotta be something here. I'm like, I like how there's just a million bathrooms in this. This is... Why is this here? Why is there just a random hallway that leads nowhere? The fuck is the point of that? Because uh, it has to be above something else on the bottom floor. Well, why don't put something there? This is impossible. Why? These chairs are flat. How am I supposed to sit on them? You're also flat. What do you mean? Fuck you. A library. Library. Whoa, knowledge. Whoa, there's so many people oh. in here. Yeah. You're in here. It's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not that kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. That's most libraries, though. The library sucks! I'm absolutely shocked. How come? Damnation. They all have, they have all these books here and not one copy of any of my works. The fact if I say this, I'm probably gonna stay anyway. What? Well, yeah. W why would you? They come. They have comics in a library. Plus, most fanfic is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. True. Damn. A lot of fanfic dojins are just porn. <laughs> you just don't get it. Not at all. I I do too get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell nothing you do is worthwhile. Damn, that's fucked up. But true. Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. That's literally the main thing to judge it by. Yeah, what the fuck? Now hear this. Appearances mean nothing at all. What you see before you is nothing more than the th rind that contains the meaty pulp of my gene. What? My creations are what determine my meaning and value. You're so full of it. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I used to be... I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like you, yours, will drop my HP? Those two really worry me. 
<laughs> but still, this library is most interesting. Uh, what's in interesting about it? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Okay, well, what's that? That whole argument was just the fact that this is game has two ultimate authors, in a sense, just arguing with each other. The shelf and is that, covered in dust, but on its shelf is a letter. Go on. And that's their entire character interactions in this game between the two of them. It's just arguing about their literature. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy. Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for a, quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without- Who the fuck cares? If you're in this situation. Oh, this is someone else's mail. We shouldn't open it. That's just unethical. Nah, oh, bitch. There's no one else fucking here. Yeah, what the fuck? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. See, she's smart. I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. Uh, executive office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full government support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope Speak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this not this is not the end of Hoax Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now, and I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official official government authorization to formally cease operations. <sighs> What does this mean? Hmm, the contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem Hope's Peak had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope's, Keep Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? Most likely, the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put this little performance. But what that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. Bum, bum, bum. Oh my god. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online about the school and never saw anything about this. So in other words... <sighs> So oh, great. That must have all been part of the masterman's mastermind's plan. They alerted us all here in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However, if it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already been closed down. What's with the coulds and shoulds? How about it is happening? That would be nice. Simple solution is true. Oh, man. What do you mean I don't know? I can't get out of the school. Yeah? The point? I can't get out. But then, what about the other part? The decision was not an easy one. Uh, yeah, yeah, serious issues, but no one can stay. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. What did they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? But I yawned when I said that. All I heard was, eh. Uh. If the two events are in fact connected, uncovering the connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. So in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. Mind's up. If we could figure out why they would want to imprison us all here, would that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Or what? Or we're big, fat, stinky, poo-poo heads. Whoa, watch your mouth. I'm sorry. The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. My knowledge! It, it looks like this library has been neglected for a pretty long time. Oh man, I wonder fucking why. As a nice... As the school itself is, whoever's in charge of upkeep has been pretty lazy. Strange. 
Strange indeed. Is it just more books? Oh, god damn it. Oh. I have 97 coins? When did that happen? You got 90 coins from getting an A rank in the trial. Oh, right. It looks like a laptop. The lap laptop, laptop looks pretty old. And it's all covered in dust. That's a very Ooh, green no. laptop. Yeah. Is it a gaming laptop? Oh my god, it's a Halo edition. Sorry. It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. Or Bro, no, just, just... Fucking charge. Can't we just have the, like, you know, programmer fix it? I was hoping I could use it online to go online and see what's going on on the outside world. If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. Wi-Fi? Huh? Do you think this place is fucking Wi-Fi? Yeah, like, what do you mean? What's behind this door? It's some kind of archive. All I saw in there was stacks of old books and files. Can't imagine what business you would have in there. That's true. I don't really have a reason to check it out. I don't believe you for some reason. That's kind of sus. We're leaving. Okay, there's more stairs. It goes up more. Yep. The kids walking the way. It's not open yet. Because again, you get more after every trial. Oh, is it left to pull? Pool. We're gonna go drown in the pool. And then there's also some rooms on the first floor that opened up. Is that a fucking gun? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, guess what? Guess what? I found a pool. There's a pool here. Why is there a pool in the second floor of a school? First of all, that's not safe. Don't fucking worry about it. No, it's pretty yeah. not safe for a pool to be up there. What about water damage to below? That's the gym. No one cares. What? <laughs> Guess what? I yeah, pool. Yeah, she's excited for reactions for the fucking gun. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I'm worried about the pool being on the second floor now. There's more <laughs> important issues here. You don't have to keep repeating it. I got it. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way that, more excited that is than a usual. Whole mini gun. Yeah, what the fuck? You're also gonna fucking what? The bullets go so high. <laughs> Why the minigun is there is hilarious. Is that a real gun? It's not like we're at war here. Why would we need something like that here? Is it to keep the guys out of the girls' locker room? Yep. God. So gun, Japanese. If you, try and use, if you try and use your handbook to go in the opposite sex's locker room, the machine gun will go off. God damn. Have you checked out the pool yet? No. I don't like wearing swimsuits. No, hey. Don't worry about that. Yeah, you don't... S what the fuck? Oh. Yeah, you do seem like the type who might not be into s that kind of thing. That could have been phrased way differently. <laughs> but still, it sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you can ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. It's kind of like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But I'm not even brave enough to step foot into the locker room. You don't even want to go in the locker room? It's not that I don't want to, it's just... I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia. Guys, I'm afraid of locker rooms. A locker room? Someone's gonna slap me on the ass and say good game. Ah, fuck, I hit myself really hard. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dumbass. Ah, fuck. The second floor is opened up. The living area has grown and a number of facilities are now open available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit things have been much, made much more comfortable for us. If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> Laughing. Let's go kill a bitch and get another fucking floor. Are those weights? Or no, pool floaties. Pool floaties. Coin! 90! Not 8! Um. Let's go in. Behind this door is a locker room. Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Oh, hello, bear. Really, really. If you want to, un if you want to unlocker the locker room, goddamn you, you'll have to swipe your personal e handbook across the card reader next to the door. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and vice versa. And that's the bottom line. Hmm, but what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? 
Anyone who commits such an indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravist. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. See, there's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? And it's all. <laughs> it'll all be like. I bet it would really hurt to get shot by that thing. No you shit, really? Before you feel anything. Um, no, I think it'd be a little worse than that. True. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them into the girls' locker room, would it not? Whoa! That never occurred to me. To think s someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Hmm, okay. Then, how's the sound? Time for a new rule. As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Okay, that's good information. There, so now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% cotton. I do not imagine anyone who, who whether that would have lent their handbook out in the first place. After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. But you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. It's because all you teenagers are sex crazed maniacs! Whoa! You're at the age you try to you try humping a plastic. Whoa! Wait a minute. <laughs> why why are we why are teenagers hey, humping plastic bottles? My oh my god! My cum drawer. Oh, mom found the cum drawer. No. What the fuck? So to keep anything. <laughs> so to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigor rigorous watch. Oh, yo. <laughs> Then in that case, I would ask, <laughs> I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man and some woman decide to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school. So, what the fuck? That doesn't make yeah. any sense. You can be fucking all you want in your room. He does not care. Everywhere else, though, that's a problem. That is a major problem. I don't care what happens in your private dorms, by force or by cunning. Do whatever you want. I hate you so much. Okay, okay, so new regulation is now in place. See you. you Man. Rule they have to acknowledge in the future trials. Huh. Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe Not I'll go tip, pick a tip. The only, the only trial that utilizes the no switching handbooks and stuff like that is only this one. Hmm. You got it. Celeste, Chihiro, you, know. you want to come with me? There's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. How do you take a shower then? Sorry, I'll pass this time. Very delicately. <laughs> How come when you're in a funk, there's nothing better th than a good swim to pull you out of it? Uh, it's funny, that's coming from the fucking one person that is a ultimate swimmer. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. Oh man, I was looking for an exit in the fucking pool. Yeah, what? Yeah, what a smart guy this uh, Makoto is. This pool and the library. Maybe the pool is endless, and I could just swim out of here. And drown. No. Endless abyss. <laughs> All I could do now is hope for someone else. Uh, hope that someone else found something worthwhile. Better be head back to the dining oh, hall. Never mind. You don't have to explore the new rooms and the. Oh no, never mind. That's not a new room. It just never gets fucking acknowledged. So it's just those two, plus yeah, those like two really classrooms. Yeah. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how to go? Did anyone f discover any interesting new thing? Yes, I did. There's a library, okay. and a pool, a freaky pool, and a locker room filled yep. with exercise equipment. There was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now... Wait, what? There's a bathhouse? Yeah. That was the room that just said bath. Oh. Oh. And the warehouse is the other one. Uh, You go to the bathhouse sometimes in the game. Nothing for, like, a trial. And the warehouse just gets mentioned, but I don't think you ever really go there. Warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so mu much, it's insane. I can get potato chippies. So go ahead and stuff yourself to the gills if, whenever you feel like. Ha ha ha. Keep in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. 
Okay, and what about a fucking way out of here? You find anything like that? Oh, well, um... There wasn't anything in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here? Nothing? Why would there be? Yeah, what the fuck? Unfortunately, no. That's not that I saw. Hey, come on. You fucking people. What? Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now, or a warehouse, or whatever the fuck? We're still trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. <laughs> now, now. There is no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is the key, yes. For now, we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of Whatever you say, you fucking loon. <laughs> For now, let's continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should discover anything or something. So, so are we done for today? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. There seems suddenly to grow heavy again. Was it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody tried some like other stuff. The main rooms your investigation will be in taking places: the pool, locker room, and library. And then whatever fucking else is brought yeah. up throughout the. This is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Same thing, same shit. Yeah, the the biker is pretty good. Pretty good character. Mondo is why he's my favorite character of this game. But time. Sleeping noises. Oh, theater. Fuck. The, the first game I put in S tier. Oh fuck. All right. It's all you, Mister Man. Oh, how? How? I forgot how I did the voice. Oh, uh, your foreign voice. Mr. Manokuma, Mr. Manokuma, do you have a second? I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby. I can say I'm super good at it. God, it sounds like your character. And my grades are totally average, too. My reflexes are okay. Not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy paste. What the fuck? I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfect average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? Big Bong! At uh, least I have one skill you can't be scared at all, morning, motherfucker. Where is the time? Yeah, yeah. Oh, more. Don't associate me with who I was voicing. <laughs> New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before. Yay. New rule. Okay, so that new rule has been added. Boop, boop. Yep, okay. Breakfast! Breakfast! The most important meal of the day! Serving it up Gary's way! Ba -da -ba -ba. Wait, are there rooms just like dead? Oh no, they're still there. I thought there would be like an extra room or something. The, the door is fucking gone. Bath! No. Oh. I want to take a bath. My asshole's full of shit. Huh? There's no toilet paper in Japan. There, there is. Nah. Hey, morning. Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. Nope. Still waiting on Biaka and Taka. But yeah, Kuya's no surprise, but it's a strange talk is not here yet. I didn't sell the rooms, cause why not? We're not just gonna fuck just feed us delete us a goddamn room. Yeah. <laughs> no Taka, I imagine he is still trying to get the king You're of Tardis out of the bed. Room is now gone. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. I don't mind waiting for them, but there's still one problem. Which is it? I am thirsty. How the hell is that a problem? She thirsty for that. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. Not, not even. Hufu, would you make me some tea? Huh? Milk tea, if you please. Why me? Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Uh, okay. 
He's a simp already. Damn. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's orders, Ifumi sulked his way into the kitchen. And a few minutes later, he poofed back in. Thank you for waiting. He reappeared with the tray in his hand, gently, gent, uh, gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. Finally, you could have made some tea for the rest of us, you know. No I am empathetically, I empathetically decline. You're not my type at all. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. It's all about the law of casualty, basic instinct, and act and react. Grr. Well then, if you don't mind, a small smile played across her lips as she held the tea cup deadly, 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 oh my god, words, <laughs> in her hand. Wait. She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could. What the fuck? That's fucked up. You just got tea brought to you. Ugh. What the? Hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? I hate this kind of tea. I don't understand. Imagine if we were at a coffee shop, just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea, okay? Then they, they then ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now further imagine that I reply, ah yes, I would like milk tea, please. In that, in this case, along with my tea, this they may bring me a small container of milk, yes. But this this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. What the fuck is he talking about? The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries and ketchup. Mere condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. And I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during... The what is she... Milk? You guys like milk? Milk. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we had just heard, I'd have to go with a wide-eyed bewilderment. Um, I went all that... I went to all that trouble to make you that tea, and you wanted me to go even further? Further? Yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... Why even bother creating a menu if you are not going to offer the highest level of quality? Well, um, we don't actually have a menu. Oh my god. That does not matter. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, your little pig. What the fuck? And he accepted that? Yep. I do love co coercing. Co I coercion. Co coercion, that's it. You were like a totally different person just now. Yeah, shit, you were. You really went cycle there. I knew there was more to her than when I first met her. I'd hate to have as, an, her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. The dining halls flew open, and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But, bad news, everyone. There's a myster mystery afoot. Huh? What happened? It would seem... Oh, no. He refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. Oh no, do we have another murder on our hands, gang? And he meant by that, he didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Ah, uh, I was just about to suggest the same thing. Stop trying to one-up everyone. Okay then, I'll go check his room one more time. I'm going to keep on hammering that button until I get a response. Very well, then the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Yeah, before it's, you know, too late. Anyway, we just have to do our best to find... find Where'd he go? He went to the second floor? Well, that's probably where he is. Where would he go on the second floor? Huh, maybe the... the, the, the library? Yeah. We're, we're gonna walk there. Okay. <laughs> you, 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 I guess. Open says me. Well, I opened the door to the library and looked inside. I cried out in sudden surprise. Oh, there he is. He's fine. Of all things I'd imagine, the most definitely wasn't one of them. Uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? Damn, I guess he's fishing, guys. C case closed. 
I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Snap the book shut, slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. This is where you've been hiding. What the heck are you doing here, man? We were very concerned. Well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. What were you reading? A mystery novel. Wait, are, so are you going to use what you've, you're learning in there to betray us? Don't be stupid. Yeah. It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, w what? If I decide to fight, of course, I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? It's not like... It's not often you get to take a part... Take part in such a high-stakes, high-tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. His words sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. What? Uh, oh, fuck. I'm back. I didn't even know you left. I went to go get my pizza. Well, congratulations. Yeah, did, huh? did you get it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean, game? That's fucked up. But it is a game. It's a game of a life or death, which can have only one winner. That's all there is to it. Me. I'm the winner. He is right, it's a zero-sum game. It is a part of the game theory, mathematical model. In game theory, what we are going through right now is called a zero-sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. You mean like a kind of elimination match? Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to see, something must something someone else must fail. This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here. In this case, our limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become the blackened. So this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. That that can't be what they had in mind. This is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. It sounds as if you don't, do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose. Am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from a Togami... He hair apparent it's just normal egg arrogance isn't it you talk like that but what if you end up dead i won't it won't i won't jesus christ it's simple it's simply not pos isn't possible god damn reading's hard guys who the fuck do you think you are you know it's still i still just can't believe it what? believe what that uneducated brain dead useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. god damn what? He's off of it. Yes, he is. He fucking alley-ooped himself and then slam-dunked him. I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> like I said, I won't die. You keep saying that, but... Do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate... Uh, yeah, dude, after all. A boy raised to succeed from day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and his has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life and death situation. Is that not so? At least one of you seem to understand. It is because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be won. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Well, well, I do apologize. Anyway, let me just say this to you all. 
you all just need to tr you all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it, it, it their best shot, what's the fun for me? Just fucking stab him right now. It's like, bitch. <laughs> That's a terrible way to look at it. Hmm. This isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know. To kill your own friends is is it's horrific. Friends, who decided that? Huh? <gasps> We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But, but you know. But what? Stop trying to force your contra contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um. Yes, if you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Damn. She is sorry. Yeah. Kind of knew this was going to happen eventually. Hey shithead, you get you get off on bullying people like that, can't fight back? You wanna try that on me? So you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's gonna last? Fuck you! What? Is that all you could say? It's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. That's it, you're fucking dead. Hold on, calm down. I am calm. How is this calm? Anyway, I don't have any, any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination, elimination game is, well, frankly, it's a waste of time. And I hate wasting my time. Waste of time. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the questions. Someone can easily poison our food. And I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. Quit talking like you're a fucking movie or you're in a fucking movie or something. All I'm saying is that ultimately you are free to do whatever you want or your own. Goodbye. Or he's gone. What a second glass glance. He's he left. He's gone. Goodbye. There wasn't anything he, we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But was he serious about all that? Uh, he was without a doubt. Don't fuck with me. Well, fuck him then. <laughs> but what he said, he might necessarily be wrong. I mean, can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? Hey, come on, you two. Just kill him, but he is one of the smartest fucking people here. Well, if it's not like anyone would care, even if I was gone, right? Actually, I bet you all want me gone. You all, you're you just very depressing yeah, I, and lame. I think she's the worst character. <laughs> you just think you don't think... Wait, what the fuck? You just think you don't think that. Oh. I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally out there. There are some authors that are really stuck up. Yeah. That, that, you can say that with anything. Sports. Mm -hmm. I don't know, cars. Whatever. The thing is, she's just a shut in. You think I don't know, but I do. You want me? G -g gone. <laughs> and I'm sure the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? She's gone. Just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back. Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. That's crazy. It's like, this was a giant waste of time. Oh, go still alive. But she's still alive and she doesn't fucking leave her room. Jeez, I'm tired already. But I don't have like the time to take even one day off. I need to get myself going. Ah, free time! <laughs> Oh, yeah, we let's go to the shop, everybody. Where the fuck did the store go? That's not it. Store! How many coins do I do? Just... Uh. It'll tell you, just go... You know, see, it'll tell you, like, so there. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Five coins. Yeah, five is a guarantee. Bye. Open! You got an item. Whatever that was. I don't know what the fuck that was. Six coins. Donuts. Uh, that that's easy. Who that person is? Lucky. If oh, lucky. we got two, two for one. We got tr I, shrimp. I know who likes the donuts. So if you ever want to hang out with the swimmer chick, give the donuts. Why does she want? Uh, wait. That's a kind of big. Her favorite food. Oh. Nine. You guys like watching Gotcha? Because this is what this is. Mm -hmm. 
We're just going to go until we have no more coins. Yeah. The fuck is that? The swimmer. Twelve. Boom. We might be here for a, a minute. I'm running kind of low on coins though. Mm -hmm. Maybe do this like three more times. The fuck is that? I don't know. Lucky. Oh, dildo. Fuck. Actually, kinda. Hot bug. <laughs> Come on, dildo shaped items. For me. That that's a whole ass head, never mind. <laughs> so no head. <laughs> and ramen. Nice. And I can't really do anything else. Okay. Send it. Send it? Send it. Uh, am I good? Okay. I unplugged my mic for a second. Mm. Whoops. I Give! That's new. Well, also, Brandon, when you unplug your shit, I can't hear anything. You can't hear anything? I can't hear the game, no. Oh, fuck. Hold up. Resetting it for Logan here. Alright. Good? Yeah. Okay, okay. How the fuck do I get here again? Uh, R. Button. That's it. Got it. All right. Now look at your presents. Wrong. Wait. It, wait. Hard track. That's number seven. Seven of one fourteen. That's a lot of fucking things. Who, one that likes that. Who? The fat guy. Oh, of course. So just go down the list. Oops. Donuts, that's for a swimmer. Yep. Uh, blueberry perfume. And also Jahiro, she likes them too. Okay. Alright, what's your one? Blueberry perfume, 21. I haven't seen the number yet. 21 is... Most guys hate the smell? Wait, why? What the fuck? I think blueberries uh, would smell nice. Alright, so... Chihiro, Leon, and Kyoko love it. Bayakia, Celeste, Sakura, and Sayaka like it. Hmm. 23. 20. Uh, Sakura loves it. Hina, Hiro, Junko, and Mondo lo uh, like it. Well, it's not, we're not going to go through all of them, just a couple. No. Most people throw consider... Yeah. I'll, we'll get you one room. Huh? Who do you want to hang out with, and we'll look through for something they like? We'll do the swimmer chick. And the donuts. Yeah, let's do that. Or, she also likes the- she loves the G-stick. The G-stick? That thing you were just on, that weird watch thing? Oh. Well, I'll give her that then. Well, first I gotta find her. She's at the pool. Can you believe it? Believe it. Is there no fast travel? Oh, wait, fast travel. So, can I go in here now? Yeah. Neat. Well, why is there... That's not provocative right there. Yep. Now that... This is an interesting poster. Whoa, look at this pool. Oh, she's way over there. Uh. Opposite of possible is it impossible? It's a challenge. Let's go from a famous baseball player. That's fucked up. A baseball player just died. Uh, spend some time. Walk aimlessly around the school. Guru lose are closer today. Uh, yes. You can have. The G stick. Yep. What? Well, I could keep this, right? Right? Yay, ultra stoked. Nice. Oh man, oh man. What's up? 
I'm getting totally fired up. What? How come? How come? It doesn't matter. Now I'm all revved up. I need to get it out. Let's race. I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyway. Really? Well, I don't mind in a solo run. Well, well hold on. <laughs> you always seem so excited, Hina. Hey, uh... Hey, uh, hey, are you making fun of me? No, I'm just impressed. Really. I used to know this guy. He was always like, Hina, you're like a super spaz. Super spaz. Yeah, like he'd see me wearing shorts in winter and he'd stay look like that. Why does it ha How does that cor correlate? But if you lose to the cold like that, it just me. Oh, I understand now. Wow, you just did stuff like that and didn't get sick? He's one of those kids. Getting sick for the week is for the week. If you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. What the fuck? You're one of those kids who wears, like, shorts, Nike uh, sandals, and yeah. a tank top in the middle of winter with snow on the ground? Yep. It's all part of your training. Training, huh? So, like, are you the type who gets sick very... sick easy? Actually, yeah. Yeah, our, I, we know our character is a bitch. See? You're soft. You need more training. Okay, I've got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you fit as f a fiddle. Oh, what kind of remedy? Yeah. Fuck. Actually, I do this myself every morning. Just strip down to your waist and then dry a towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. What the fuck? I call it. That's called an Indian burn. <laughs> I call it a... Uh, what do I call it again? A way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin. Let's take a shot at this. What do I even pick here? Bamboo beatdown? There's only one that makes sense. Uh, towel treatment, I guess? No. Yeah. <laughs> Is it something like a towel treatment? <laughs> you got it. Oh my god, yeah, that's it. I love going out on my apartment balcony, stripping down, fleeing the wind on my skin. God, it feels so amazing. I never let a morning pass without getting in a good rub down. Hey, yo, me too! But, not with a towel. Wait, so you went on your balcony and stripped down, and you're okay with that? <laughs> you should give it a try. If you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. I hate you to see catch a cold or something. Her report card was updated. Whoa. After being introduced to a unique sickness prevention method, I went back to my room. I finished my pizza and I'm fully back to actually reading chat. Nice. There's still plenty of time left. Luis went yeah. somewhere and it's, uh, Grave is here. Chatting away. I can't just sit around here. I should head out. Uh, what did I get though? Skill points? Yeah, she. It's yeah. She could equip more skills. Do I have any more skills? No, you only have the two. You have equipment. You need to hang out with more people. Ah, uh, all right. No, you don't want to hang out with. You can't hang out with people in their like from their rooms, right? You can. Oh, you can. Okay. I don't want to go to the boys' bathroom when he's in there. Uh, you ne you don't know what he's doing. Let's hang out with her, Kyoko. We need yeah. to look if you have anything she likes. All right, let's go outside first. Um, Do we just keep the items? You keep. Oh no! Oh no! It's zero zero. Okay, got it. Fresh bindings. That's number thirty-two. Yeah, that's for Sakura, I would assume. That's for Mondo and Sakura. Okay. Emperor's Thong. What the fuck? 34. Um, no one loves it, by, by, but Bayakia, Chihiro, and Junko both like it. Hey, yo, what the heck, man? Quality chinchilla cover. 41. Uh, 41. Mondo likes it, or loves it. Bayakia and Taka like it. Adorable re reactions collection. Taka likes it in here. Uh, well, Taka loves it. In Hero likes it. Okay. Tumbleweed. No one likes that. What? <laughs> it's just a I random know. item. <laughs> Pretty hungry caterpillar. What number is it? Fifty-six. Uh, <laughs> you know the no trash can in it. your room. <laughs> no one loves it, but your hero likes it. What the fuck? So you know the trash can in your room? I think you might have a use for it now. Yeah, pretty much. Put the tumbleweed in there. Golden airplane. 
All right, Golden Airplane. Or the Bayakia, Hero, and Junko love it. You have a lot of shit for Bayakia. Uh, 64. Uh, Sakura loves that, but she's the only one that likes it. She's fucking dead. Sayaka's dead. Oh, Sakura. oh, I thought that's what you said. My bad. Uh, 84, 83. Alright, 83. No one likes it. What the fuck? No one like ancient tour tickets? Nope. P probably still yeah. redeemable, man. No one likes the next one. No one likes 85? Okay. No one likes that. School crest? These are, these are completion items you can't give that to anybody. Uh oh. Okay, that's it. So I got nothing for... You have, you have definite stuff for, you have one item more for Hina, you have a good amount of items for like Chihiro, and you have a lot of items for Bayakia.